Hello, everybody, and welcome to New NAW. This is your host, Danny Jackpot, alongside with more New NAW action. New NAW Voltage 18. Here comes Butch Simpson coming out with the man that's going to be in this match. Helenius. We're also going to have Butch vs. Samuel Wolf later. A four-way elimination match later will take will be the main event for the Central Zone Championship. That's O'Hillanius and Butch Simpson taking on each other. So I'm sorry, Butch Simpson and Ace Justice making their way down in the ring right now. I accidentally called the wrong team looking at my notes. Butch Simpson and Ace Justice here at New NAW Voltage 18. New Age Wrestling. Hello, Biff. Hello, Al. Making his way down the ring now. Let's imagine who. I imagine it's got to be the, op the opposition for both men later tonight in the singles competition. Probably going to come out together. Cattle Links. Opposition, the power seekers. Helenius alongside his tag team partner, Samuel Wolf, the power seekers. To me, Helenius and Butch Simpson to start off this match. And Hellenius and Ace Justice to start off this match. I'm sorry, Hellenius and Ace Justice. They're going to be the first two men to face off in seamless competition. The Power Seekers, Hellenius and Wolf. Exciting young tag team here in New NAW, the Power Seekers. Getting ready to put this New NAW action again. Once, once again, this is your host, Danny Jack Potties. Justice in the ring, Hellenius in the ring. We're about to start this new NAW show. Voltage 18 is underway, everybody, as Hellenius and Ace Justin battle off. Hellenius at the best of Ace Justice right now. You can also catch Ace Justice in OPW. Catalink and then Butch. Bullet Butch Simpson. Also, an NAEW teams up with Mike Ballander of the Psychotic Trailblazers. As Hellenius has Ace Justice push against the turnbuckle now, will we get a clean break? Yes, we do. And then, oh, just driving him right back into the turnbuckle, though. I don't know how clean that was. And a big shoulder tackle by Hellenius, knocking Ace Justice down. Now, picking him up. What power by Ace Justice? I'm mean, by, by Hellenius on Ace Justice. Ace Justice rolls out of the ring and back into the ring quickly. Grabbing him by the throat and just launching Hellenius in the air. In AW, new AW Voltage 18, everybody. The Hellenius. Looking to go after him on, on Ace Justice, but no getting taken down. Hellenius, though, once again, reverse Ace Justice with the reverse DDT. Got three big matches presented to you on. NAW, new NAW Voltage tonight, Voltage 18. Again, the main event of Fatal 4 where the winner in a Central Zone Championship shot. That will be exciting. Helene is knocking down Ace Justice by the leg, leg sweeping him. And then a huge clothesline by Ace Justice on Helene. Hellenius getting flattened out with the sidewalk slam. Oh, 
Once again, was H. Justice got planned now for Hellenius. Looking for a power bomb, but then drives him down to like a cutter like maneuver. This could be three. We got one. We got two. We got a kick out by Hellenius. Mike Butch Simpson also going to be taking on. Let's not forget Samuel Wolf right after this match. The Power Seekers, Catalink, doing battle in the singles competition tonight. As you move, as you march, as you march forward to the final chapter, we have Joe Omega in the main event going to take on his take on his former best friend Norm Daly. See Norm Daly pick up a win on page 43. Helene is taking it to Ace Justice. And Extreme Tony is going to take on Lecus, Le Lemar Lemarcus Carter for the East Coast Championship at Final Chapter. Let's not forget that. Three-way three -way tag team match for the East Coast Championship, I believe. And then a three-minute Ironman match for the West Coast Championship, I believe. Amir Barnes going to take on Al Kabir for the Mountain Range Championship, from what I've heard. A lot of more matches being presented to you at Final Chapter. As Ace, as Ace Justice looks to be in trouble here. But no, as soon as I say that, he delivers some big elbows to his opponent, his opposition. Ace Justice looks to be firmly in control now of this match. Samuel Wolf going to take on Butch Simpson after this match. Butch Simpson, the cowboy. Bullet Butch. Ace Justice is also a cowboy. Remember, Catalink. I wonder how many. There's a big punch there by Ace Justice knocks down Hellenius. I think he's looking for a cover. He is. One, two, three. Ace Justice picks up the first win here today in the first singles competition. I was about to say, I wonder how much cattle they range in a day. And I wonder if they. If they, if they brand their cattle. Ace Justice, big power bomb like Cutter there on Hellenius. Only getting two in that situation. Both the nice voltage arena here for UNAW. I must say that once again, the production for UNAW has just gone greatly up. I absolutely love it. As Ace Justice gets the three there. Ace Justice picks up the first of first fall tonight for Catalin. Could Butch Simpson possibly knock off, knock off Michael Wolf and get another win here? And Catalin could go 2 0 on the Power Seekers tonight in singles competition. We'll find out here soon as Ace Justice celebrates his victory here on NAW Voltage. And here we go. We're going to start off now with our second matchup tonight. Butch Simpson is going to take on Michael Wolf. He jumped right into that one. As both men are already out here. He's Justice on the outside for his tag team partner, Butch Hellenius. Did I say Michael Wolf? They, they meant to say Samuel Wolf. I don't know what I'm going to say. Either way, Hellenius here for Samuel Wolf here tonight. Referee breaks it up. We get a clean break there. Both teams clean breaks. That's nice to see. Respect between the two teams. I have never watched a Samuel Wolf match, so this will be the first time I get to see a Samuel Wolf match. Um, I should say commentate a Samuel Wolf match. That was the first time I got to commentate a Alanius match. I believe I may have commentated an H Justice match before. It's hard to remember all the matches I've commentated in my commentary history. Or New and AW, let alone in AEW, let alone all the leagues I've commentated over my commentating career, which includes WEDF. Hello. That was a WEDF. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do we got going on here? We got uh, rolling around in the ring. Butch Simpson don't like that. I can tell you that right now. Butch Simpson don't do none of that rolling around in the ring stuff. He don't like that. And look at that, just driving Samuel Wolf's head down to the map with a DVD. Butch Simpson, Bullet Butch. Bullet Butch Simpson has had a lot of successful tag team 
or successful, was successful singles and in tag teams over his time here in UNAW, a former mountain range champion, Edge Bush Simpson. Actually, the first ever man to hold the mountain range championship was Bullet Butch Simpson. Also, a former UNAW tag team champion with his partner at the time, Sonny Meadows. A man that we know better now is Shane Corson. Samuel Wolf knocking down Butch to the outside of the ring. What is Samuel Wolf got planned for Butch? Oh my God, just driving him head first into the stairs. Then Samuel Wolf did on Bullet Butch. This is the kind of fight Bullet Butch loves though. He don't like that rolling around in the ring nonsense like he says. He likes that straight, that straight brawling, that, that, that brawling, that brawling style that I want to punch somebody, he says. I want to punch somebody. Then his head slammed into the turnbuckle now. Samuel Wolf driving it repeatedly. Seven, eight, nine, ten times, eleven. I don't know if that was ten or eleven times. I, I, I lost track. All I know is Bullet Butch is feeling the pain here on Voltage 18. And a big stalling suplex, all that head, uh, all that blood rushing to the head of Bullet Butch Simpson and then driving him down in the mat with the suplex. Got a cover here. Referee, get in the place. One, two. Come on, referee. You got to be quicker than that. That could have just cost Samuel Wolf a big singles win here on NAW Voltage 18. Bullet Butch, a former mountain range champion here in NAW. Samuel Wolf now driving him down on the mat with the arm DDT. Tying to the fans. Got Bullet against the ropes. What is he going to do? Big back suplex. Calling for Bullet Bush to get up. Bullet Bush don't turn around. Bullet Bush, no. Spearing Bullet Bush. Cover on Bullet Bush. Cadillac partner. Ace Justice breaks it. He's distracting the referee. There might have been a three count. Bull Butch might have just lost his match. Bull Butch now. Maybe calling out for a bionic elbow. Texas' his own bionic elbow. But Samuel Wolf rolls out of the ring smartly. Bull Butch after him on the outside. Bull Butch stopping whatever Samuel Wolf had planned there. A great match between these two men so far in the second match of Voltage. A fatal four for the Central Zone Championship match coming up next. Oh my God, as these two men are now fighting. Bullet Butch goes at the D. He follows it. Bullet Butch over the barricade. Butch knocks Samuel Wolf over the barricade back. But Samuel Wolf is trying to get over it. Samuel Wolf goes right back over the barricade, though. Butch once again knocking Samuel Wolf over the barricade. The referee's at a seven count here on voltage. Bullet Butch now. Just jabs. Jabs does. Oh my god, that double Texas jab. Those Texas jabs by Bullet Bush. Samuel Wolf knocked down. Bullet Bush not going for the cover. Why not? I don't understand. Samuel Wolf delivering on Ron Simmons like spine buster. Bullet Bush's head, spine, being just busted right there. Down the mat. Now Samuel Wolf. Momentum firmly on his side. Butch missed a clothesline, getting back body dropped. Bullet Butch, uh, oh, nothing good. Once again, getting spine buster down to the mat. Bullet Butch looks to be in trouble here. I'm voltage 18. Samuel Wolf driving bullets as it Bullet Butch is head down to the mat. Two, three. Samuel Wolf picks up the win here tonight against Bullet Butch Simpson. Samuel Wolf's biggest singles win to date, I must imagine. Big vertical suplex on Bullet Butch. Voltage 18, everybody. As Samuel Wolf tries to get the win here, the referee might have been out of place. That could have been it right there. Only getting two. Samuel Wolf then delivering a huge spear. I think Ace Justice knew it was over for his heart and Bullet Butch. But no, Bullet Butch doesn't get covered because of the distraction. Double Texas jab. Bullet Bush Simpson might have been a little bit too in showboating because he is driven down to the mat after two huge spine busters. Samuel Wolf, one, two, 
three, picks up the biggest win of his life here in UNAW. Singles win of his life. The Power Seekers won. Catalank won. How about we throw the singles matches away, guys, and we, throw, we do a tag team match here some point soon. Maybe final chapter. Catalank, Power Seekers, who knows? As an extreme right, Fatal 4 his match is about to take place. Sports Sky, bonkers. Connor James, Tasmanian, or White Tiger 2. That's Sports Guy. Bonkers. Both have challenged previously for the Central Zone Championship. Connor James looking for his big break here in UNAW. So is White Mass 2. Tiger Mass. White Tiger Mass 2. White Tiger 2. I forgot the name of this wrestler. <laughs> oh. That's going to be one from UNAW Management when I get done with this show. And did I mention we're in Honolulu, Hawaii? Yeah! Oh, vacation time here in UNAW, Voltage 18. Honolulu, Hawaii. As we await the entrances of these four men, the Central Zone Championship, Fatal Four Way, number one contender, as here comes Dark Carnival member Bonkers. Bonkers is bonkers, everybody. Bonkers the clown. Bonkers is a clown. I don't know how good of a clown he is. He doesn't make people laugh. He only torments people. Bonkers. Bonkers. When he first came around CAW in a league called ITF, he was such a good individual. He had he had such a good high high spirit and his wrestler was bonkers. Bonkers came in just so positive and so friendly. And Shane Corson's tormenting. Shane Corson. Shane Corson's lecturing has made Bonkers the way he is today. Teaming up normally with Puck the forward mime. And in AEW. Puck no longer here in noon AW. Bonkers having more singles matches than, more, than, than, than usually before. Again, Bonkers has competed for the Central Zone Championship before. Maybe we'd like to get that shot again. Bonkers. Nothing changed about Bonkers, though. In years, is Bonkers still that dark, sick, individual Bonkers has became. Bonkers, again, just bonkers. You don't know what he's going to do. Look at this man now. All of a sudden, just snapping, it looks like. Now he wants to dance. Bonkers is a weird individual. I have no idea what Bonkers is capable of by in a single career. Because it's scary to think what this man is doing by himself here in a new NAW ring. As I'm starting to get a little bit worried about Bonkers. Thank God, let's get someone else out here. Let's get control of Bonkers. Bonkers now, he hears the music change. Bonkers getting into some serious action mode as here he comes now. Lucha White Panther 2 as I totally botched his name a few times during, <laughs> during the preview. <laughs> White Panther 2 has been around for a long time in OPW and new NAW. Made, has, has, has had a successful career here. I seen the trampoline. Poor White Panther 2. You know that he buries him with a bad entrance right there. Lucha, 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 White Panther 2. One of the greatest, one of the finest here from the La Lucha, La, 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 Lucha Libre Wrestling down south of Mexico. Juan Tomato, Mexico. Eh? White Panther 2. The story of White Panther 2 is one to be told is that sports guy makes his way down to the ring. That sports guy, a man who has proven himself to be good at all sports, is that sports guy making his new NAW return. Or, or that sports guy not making his new NAW return, soon to make his Empire return to wrestling, I've heard. Will soon to be back in Empire Wrestling. Have I heard that sports guy? That sports guy has competed for the Central Zone Championship before. A match against Angeliana Beck. Unlike Paige, was it 15, I believe? The, it, was, it was before the chat. It was before Collision 7. That sports guy had a singles match with Angeliana for the championship. Came up short to that sports guy. Here we are now, Chapter 12, Collision 7. It was Chapter 7. I call, yeah, wasn't that really Collision 7? Is it Collision 7, I think? I think Collision 7 might have been Chapter 7. 
Might be Colors in 8. I can't remember my Colors in But that might have been Colors in 7. I know it was Colors in 2019. 2018. Colors in 2018. As Connor James moves his way down in the ring. Connor James, a diabolical, devious. Connor James. It's Connor. As Connor James makes his way down in the ring. Connor James looking for his big first single shot here in New and AW. A Central Zone Championship match would be perfect. Connor James has competed for the Maple Leaf Championship before. A triple threat match with Johnny D and Al Cabrera at New and AEW. Four score, lost that match. Our new, new AW three golden rings lost that match in that triple threat. Four score. Connor James costed. What up? I, 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 I lost track, everybody. It was three. Three is not enough. Al Cabrera defeated Johnny in a 20 minute Ironman match in AEW. I don't know why I'm talking about AEW here. But then it was four score. It was a triple threat match with Connor James losing to Al Cabrera in his first big singles championship shot in call. Connor James looking to win this match. As you see, White Panther 2, Bonkers, and that sports guy, Fatal 4 Way, Unit of U Action, main event of Voltage. It's 18, we are here, everybody. Bonkers looking to cover that sports guy right away. One, they're getting only a one count. I don't think you're going to win that quickly. The other guy's even trying to break it up. They're not worried about that, that being it. I'm surprised. You always got to be worried that could be it for somebody. You never know. Dragon Screw on that sports guy. Powerbomb, the White Panther 2 on Connor James. Oh my god, just delivering like a. Sh Shades of Shadow here with that white, white Widow here in, New in Noon AW. That sports guy taking the bonkers. That sports guy and bonkers would be a good match. One versus one, I think. I, I, I would like a that sports guy versus bonkers match. As bonkers rolled up, one, two, three. That sports guy should have won this match. The submission, the referee was out of place. That sports guy should have won this match and Bonkers rolled up right away. Who's gonna win this match? I am shocked. That sports guy, had, had Bonkers rolled up. Sports guy, sunset bomb, sunset flip, fire bomb. One, two. White Panther should have broken up as Connor James rolls to the outside of the ring. I think White Panther did break it up, I'm not sure. As Bonkers looks to be laid out still. Both men laid out. White Panthers has Bonker alone in the ring. Off the top rope, White Panther. Oh my God, with like a 6.30 or like eight. Oh my God, what did I just see? Three, White Panther three. Or White Panther two eliminates Bonkers in this elimination match. Holy, holy high hell right there. What a move by White Panther two. That was more flips than I've ever seen anyone ever do. In the ring, White Panther two. That was athletic. I gotta say, White Panther 2 after that has just earned my respect. That's that's a risky move. Bonkers eliminated early here on the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match. Bonkers didn't go bonkers though, I'm surprised. Here we go, we got a three men left in this match. Man being that sports guy. A false coming anywhere in this match apparently, I wasn't told. This is just, this is just a brawl for, the, for a chance to even fight the Central Zone champion, Evan O'Shea. Here we go, Connor James delivering like a big reverse power driver package move to that sports guy. Looking to take him down. But that sports guy fighting Connor James off as we're brawling on the outside of the ring on Voltage 18's main event. Connor James rolled up one. I don't know why White Panther 2 would break that up. That's a, I think it's the second time now he's broken it up. I don't think White Panther 2 knows the rules. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit of uh, miscommunication as I can't see what's going on at all. I literally can't. I have no idea. I think White Panther just tapped off that sports guy. Yes, that's what that's what the that's what the announcer is signaling to me is that that sports guy tapped off the White Panther's leg lock there. Wow. UNAW voltage. Can't see the action, but it's still happening. As he makes Connor James bleed with the Pele. White Panther two, one, two. Three. Oh my God! In the, in the last five minutes of this match, you couldn't see much, but I did see him take it down to Connor James. Pele kick. Hopefully, the replay show us more. Look at Connor James with his finishing move there, and White Panther two doesn't tap out. Why? Where did Connor James do this? 
as that sports guy delivers a sunset flip power, but I am shocked. White Panther 2 picks up a huge win here on the vo Voltage 18. I, I, I think Connor James losing this match is a shame. Huh. White Panther 2, as you see that sports guy tap out. Yes, that is what happened. A leg lock right there. Better camera angle. I don't know why we never switched that angle. He made Connor James hit. Blew with the Pele. Dan Jackpot. Good fight. Good night, everyone.